All right, all right, what is going on, guys? This is the series finale of the Blackburn Rovers Football Manager 2020 Road to Glory series. And this is the pinnacle. We're at the pinnacle of the series, the Road to Glory Champions League final. Through my whole time on YouTube doing Football Manager series, I don't think there's been one where the story has just worked out absolutely perfectly and we have made the final here. See, it looks... Ah, I'm so proud, kind of. I'm proud of myself and you guys for watching the series, coming along and here seeing how we've gone the whole time and... It's been really good. So as you know, after the last episode, Chelsea, I went to play all the Premier League games remaining. We couldn't get all wins. We had to settle for one draw against Southampton there. But yeah, no surprising that we continue that pretty decent form. Just go through some of the results. One I'm going to point out specifically, this one was close, guys. It took me late to win that. If you take a look, the red card helped. Helped there. So yeah, which led us to finishing third in the Premier League. Uh from these results, um, Tottenham, again, late goals needed, it, it, it doesn't look, it always looks like so smooth when you see all W's, but how games play out, you know, you see my games, a lot of the time they're a fight, that one we had it sealed, unfortunately a late goal conceded, um, no clean sheet bonuses paid, not that disappointed, <laughs> uh, and then Southampton, yep, we couldn't beat them, then Bournemouth, guys, this is what I want to talk about. You're like, oh, it just looks like a standard 3-0 where they got an early red card. But there was something to point out. Can you guys see it? Why I got confused? Can you see why I got confused? Look who they've got. An Andre Almeida. And who was playing for us? An Andre Almeida. So I was really confused. <laughs> for a minute, when he got a yellow card, I'm like... A Bournemouth player made a tackle and Andre Almeida got a yellow card. What's going on? What's going on? So that was really, really mad to me. So, yeah, those are the Premier League results. And just show you guys how it was really looking. We didn't have any of the top goal scorers or within there anyway. We had some shared goals, uh, which was pretty good. We had no outstanding players there, even though we uh, finished third in the league, which is pretty impressive, which shows have made a progression each year. I'm, I'm happy there was that. I am really happy we went from, yeah, fifth to fourth to third. Progression each year. And, of course, being in the Champions League final, the main focus. But, yeah, I did want to touch on that with our goal scorers. We had shared. We had Eddie Salcedo, 19, and Boadu. Oh, okay, who got more in the Prem? Boadu got 15 in the Prem. Eddie Salcedo got 14 in the Prem, but so close uh, to that. And then Fabio Silva, who got 15 in all competitions, only 8 in the Premier League. Uh, but I feel like he did really, really well this season, funnily enough. Ooh, this is a big one, and we've got to talk about some of their misses, guys. With their, they're missing a bit. Oh, there's so much information. So much information for Barcelona. There's something, there's something in my mind as well. But take a look. If we sort by, sort by this... Uh, this Martinez, he's only 20, won't worry about him. Memphis, who's only 29, he was one they didn't register. You know, I always think about that as well. When you make your signings, make sure you can register all your good players. Um, or you would hope not to have any players that you can't register. they got Weigl, again, 27. Oh, he's in the regular player. He's not bad. It, hmm, that, that's an interesting one to me, that he isn't a regular player. Artur as well. Uh, it's funny, you know, where he's at now. He's, uh, there, was, there was a switcheroo. Uh, they made a switcheroo uh, with Juventus, with Pjanic, that whole situation. So he won't be playing today regardless. Gerard Piquet, he's waited <laughs> all this time. I don't know how many finals they made in the save. Uh, but still, he's not going to be able to take part today. And Sergio Busquets, so they're players that have played in the season, some more than others. But now let's see our team selection. This is going to be our selection for the day. We'll just go through. See, we only have Connolly, who barely played. He made two sub appearances. That's it for the season. So that's not really hurting us at all in terms of an unregistered player. As I said, I think we managed our squad really well uh, for one of the backup strikers. Not like the second backup. I was like, yeah, he's not even... Like you see, his selection during the season, not even a consideration. Armstrong was before him, and he didn't even play that much. He was unhappy, so you saw that situation. So now, we might need to make some changes. This is coming off the last game. So we're going to bring on Carlos Alenia, Andre Almeida. Uh, yeah, as I pointed out before, that was funny. Let's bring on Marco in DM, in the DM position. Baba Rahman, like... 
Lenahan. He's been, but we've been rotating the team. We're going to bring in the two, the two key. Yep, him and Basir. They're they're building their partnership together. They're building that. Tommy Yasu, yeah, right back. We got to, yeah, Lindelof, like him because center back and right back. Bell, left back. Mendy, DM. Tavara can play the center mid. He can play a yeah, pretty creative role. He's wanted by West Ham. Uh, Andre Almeida, and that is going to be, that's going to be, I reckon. Of course, we got Bradley Dak still injured. That's, yeah, he's the only one that would really be missing. Uh, Lewis Travis, who was part of the bench, you know, in this save, kind of in rotating, but then he got mad now. <laughs> I still think he's an all right player. It's just how things have played out uh, for him in the save now. So we are we are ready to go. And this is how we're going to go in, I reckon. This is how we're going to go in. Fabio Silva's an interesting one. Myron Bowen, oh, this is a huge selection because he's pacey, guys. But he's been on scoring form. He scored in the last two. There's that. Eddie, what's he's done? He scored two in the last game. Didn't score in Southampton, but then, yeah, in the two games before that, he found the back of the net. Fabio Silva, you know, he's we compared the goal scored for the season. He's been a little bit more inconsistent. We've got to be honest. Really, really, he's if anything, he's still played a part with his assists. That's what I mean. He's been a little bit more than his goals. Doesn't mean he's been bad at all for us. No, he's had a pretty solid season, but he's done more than score. So, all right, boys, we're gonna go into it. Oh, this Champions League final. Oh, this is huge. Barcelona. Oh, wait, you can have more on the bench. I forgot about that. Just for the Champions League final. There you go. So we can get just anyone who can play. Okay, we just got to do this smartly. Lenahan. Can't. Armstrong, maybe another striker on the bench. You never. Got to select these right. That Lenahan, sorry. Sometimes when you select them, they go off. Um, even if you're doing it. And see, the show's still 8 and 9 there. See what I mean? And 8 and 9 are selected. Lewis Travis. You might as well get him up. Is 11 taken? <laughs> so Dak. Injured, had it. I think all well, we'll go submit team. Yeah, that's what we could do. But yeah, we definitely have enough players on the bench now. We're used to using seven. That was more. Now let's take a look. It's Griezmann, Fati, who would be... Oh, okay, we've got to click on him. Yeah, as I said, he'll be absolutely crazy. He's still only 20. He starts so young. He starts so young. Uh, get them young, teach them your tongue. There we go. Usman Zambale, they've still got a very... Where's Messi? They've benched Messi. I know he's uh, he's 35. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Wowee, they've benched Lionel Messi for this big occasion. Almad, you know how good these guys get. De Jong and Dembele. I think of Bernard. How's... He's 30, but he's still holding decent enough. Um, Titi, Todibo, but yeah, you know, with the goalkeeper situation, they're having to start uh, Pena there. Oh, uh, guy, he, he's not that great, to be honest. He's not an amazing keeper. Th see, this gives us the chance, and of course, we're playing in England. We're playing, you know, Barca's history as well. You see the, the flag there. Oh, this is so fitting for so many different reasons. Let's go, let's go passionately. What are we going to say? Prove to everyone that you're winners or no, for the fans. If we're ever going to do it for the fans, what other occasion? Yeah, just looking at my team again. Yeah, no, that's a strong side. It's a strong side. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's finish off this story so perfectly. A win would do that. And, and a goal conceded in the first minute would it? No errors, please. Please not today, guys. Just a straightforward game. <laughs> straightforward against Barca. But what, what I mean is just play a normal game. Get an early goal would be nice. Boadu. Go on. Fall to someone. Oh! Talk about a fitting story. It's Carlos Elena. First goal of the season against his former club. Oh, you cannot write this. You cannot write this, mate. Wow. Alenia, what a time to score your goal. Your first goal of the season. How about it, lad? And again, do not forget. Guys. That's not just his... That's like his his first Blackburn goal. He got one on... I was going to say... It didn't say anything about like a his first goal for Blackburn, but just the first goal of the season. But yeah. That's his first Blackburn goal. 
What a time to score it, lad. What a time. What an occasion. And what a team to do it against. I told you, I reckon we, we would have an advantage here playing in London for sure at Wembley. Oh, mate. And the fact that we're appearing like the home team on the left side. Yeah, some people have told me that in their opinions and experiences with it. You do have that little... As, could be the fact we're in England anyway. Well, oh, there could be. There could be a little extra something for us here today. And of course, they've got some players missing. Oh, but there's a corner. Before I get too excited, before I get too excited, we clear it. We clear... Oh my gosh. Myron, run at him. Run it. Run it. Oh, he's, he's too pacey. He's too pacey. Oh. I was going to say, if we made it 2-0... I was sounding a little bit confident for a second, but Barca, yeah, they got their support there. A lot has flew across, so Segre, he is on that yellow. We're going to leave for now. Oh, it's another corner. I don't like the look of that because they might be due to get one or convert one more specific. Oh, you dived. You are a little... i got to hold back. But it sums up FM20. It sums up FM20. Oh, come on. You don't deserve this. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they deserve, lads. A miss. Oh, yeah, come on. And now let's convert ours. Or oh, our chance. Oh, don't get too excited. They might score anyway. Or oh, Dembele. Yeah, go dot. Boo. Boo. That will be real life situation. Not real life 2020 because no crowds. But boo those types. <laughs> Salcedo. Oh my god. He's choked. He's choked on it. Oh, wow. Wow, what? You knew there was going to be drama. You know there was going to be drama here. Wowie. Wowie. Don't get complacent out there, lads. Don't get complacent. I don't think I did that for Segre to... Where are we? We'll go into edit and go ease off tackles now. All right. Let's, let's continue, though. <laughs> it's. I feel like all these games recently, there's like hype moments. There's things to get mad about, th things to celebrate. Could this be another celebrating moment? Moment. We go 2-0 ahead against Barca in front of their fans. In front of their fans. They're not looking too happy. Oh, they're feeling some Spain right now. Did I just say they're feeling some Spain? Yeah, mate. <laughs> they're feeling... Oh, gosh. What do we do? It's a weird... What, what? I don't know the emotions. What do we do from here? We're 2-0 ahead of Barcelona in the UEFA Champions League. What do I do? <laughs> what do we do here? It's like we got to hold on against them. Like, it doesn't feel right. Segre may be off on that yellow because you just never know, but we'll bring on Mendy. And then we'll just make that switch there. Mendy will play the DM. And Guric, yeah, Marco, put him in that position there. I don't really anyone... Oh. <laughs> we got a lot of a lot to choose from, hey? But like these are, the, these are the boys. These are the lads to get it done. We don't really need to make a sub, I reckon. Let's just keep... Go, like, just go out there and keep doing what we are. Praise them and just say, keep it up. They bring on Messi and Luis Suarez for... But you, 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 you passed it, lads. You got to rebuild. Don't be holding on to the past, and that's what that's why they're going to go down here. That's the story. Yeah, mate, you can see that. They, they, they passed it. They got, like, their old, not bad players, like, their former quality, but they're just, they're physically depleted. It's time to let them go, Barca. It's time to let them go. Because the new boys are in town. And see, it's only us with the highlight. We, If anything, we're going to make it three. Oh, gosh. Knowing me, we're going to concede and it's not game over. And I should have just... Not that it would have changed that there was a highlight. Gonna, oh, see, nah, even De Jong, even a younger lad couldn't get it. Nah, that was their chance. But see, that's... Why was he the man in that position and not an attacker? Strike or a winger, at least. Yeah, mate. That you, we've got it. Keep a clean sheet here to show our dominance. Show our dominance. What? What? I've gone and won the Champions League with Blackburn against Barcelona and not just beating them, completely just... What's the word? I don't even know. Just, we stopped them. That's the simple way to put it. 
wow, they just did not do anything against us. They had a couple chances and they missed, but we were just in control of them. They had more possession, but, you know, yeah, how we were playing. They had a penalty, though. They cho <coughs> They choked. And, yeah, I had to do that. <laughs> I just can't believe. I can't believe I've done this. I can't believe I've done this. Elenia to still oh to, we signed him on a free and against his old team and his first goal for the club is in the Champions League final. When has that ever happened? When has that ever happened, boys? I've gone and achieved the biggest thing. And guys, I know this series hasn't got the craziest of views, but go share this to your friends for this moment, man. Like, come on, you got this can't be slept on this moment. This is my best series on YouTube I've done. Seriously, you gotta see this. We do the double, pretty good. Caribou Cup Champions League is is, is an interesting double, but nonetheless, we've done it. Yeah, look at all the medals. Take a look at all those. Champions League fee. Oh, mate. Mate. Look at those recent winners and we're under that bracket. Real Madrid, Liverpool, Bayern Munich, PSG times two, Blackburn Rovers. The team is not expected to get beyond the group stage of... Get out of here, man. I can put some respect on my name, please. What have we actually done here? Seriously. Seriously. Hype up. The fact of that. That is massive. Not just a little. Oh, we overachieved for the season. We. The, I don't know which way to explain it. Like extremely. But that is it. Um, amazing. Carlos, you, you were amazing. One of my favorite signings that only scored one goal. Oh, what a, that's going to go down in my history books, regardless of, like, it's great I have this on YouTube or whatever, but my football man, this is one of my best in history. This is going down forever in the memories, boys. I will never forget this moment, and it will always be, now I have one on YouTube to look back on the history of FM20, mate. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm so proud. Like, wow. This is like those hype moments I would have had years back on older football manager games where I took a team up, even though it was only from the championship, but was a short-term thing. A short-term thing, yeah. <laughs> Guys. Just a lad out of Melbourne, Australia. Took over. Took over Blackburn again. I went through it in the last, the last episode. It was just short-term, bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 success. And we did get an award. We actually got manager of the se yeah manager of the year again. Two competitions to be named this time. Champion Champions League Carabao Cup. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I want to show you something, though. I didn't do it at the start of this episode. But Manchester United, guys, do you know what happened? They came second, yeah? They sacked Allegri for finishing second. They made the semis of the Europa League. So was it off the previous season? Was it a must to win Europa League? I'd like to think with Man United, it was probably in the expectation on the board, win win Europa League. And would probably say win, well, win Premier League as well uh, with their expectations. Um, FA Cup, they only made the quarters, but they played against Arsenal. It's a tough game. Um, did anything, like I think, yeah, like they lost against a, a pretty good team, didn't they? Yeah, they lost in the semi-finals <laughs> against the Blackburn, against the Rovers, against the Rovers. But yeah, I think we're going to continue because we may get a couple more messages considering this is the last. This is it, boys. This is it. This is where it's come to the end. So, oh, mate, how's the, this is just celebration times. This is just celebrate. Yeah, where are I don't even know what I'm clicking on these days. <laughs> They're still, dev like, I reckon that's a silly one to have. Using the youth team to have them in the first. That's ridiculous. I've had young players in the team like 19, 20, and that's not bad. So I know that doesn't count, but we're not going to win the Champions League. We're giving young players, <laughs> youth players, 16, 17 year olds. That, that's not, that's not going to happen realistically. So yeah, we'll continue a few. Yeah, this is what we wanted to see guys. Obviously we're not going to confirm any of these because we're not continuing another season. As I said, if this isn't the complete feeling of, or, or the feeling of completing a series, I don't think I'm ever going to. 
I don't think I'm ever going to. We'll just cover these. Eddie Salcedo. See, he was actually the fans' player of the season. Myron wasn't too far behind. Respect on Murato. Respect on Murato. So he wasn't like a striker that was banging in goals. To be fair, he scored five in the league as a centre-back. But I, it definitely was his defeat. He, he played like a leader at the back, and he was a real nice signing. Uh, don't Again, there's so many. There's so many. Oh, it's, oh, it's, so, it's so mad, guys. So, yeah, we signed him for 1.4 million. We made amazing signings in this save. Oh, mate. Mate, this is one save file I'm never going to delete and I'll keep on my computer <laughs> for, yeah, years in the future to go back on it maybe uh, and maybe continue it, at least privately. So Tavera, again, these guys were the story. These are not the biggest names. Again, 550K. He wasn't a wonder kid, but I reckon he was close to it. But he, no, nah, he doesn't have that greatest high potential, but amazing technicals. Signing of the season, Baldu, 50 million. 15 goals in the league, very important. Four goals in the Champions League, pretty good, pretty good. And, wow, so young player of the season was Eddie Salcedo, but he was one of our best players of the season too. So, uh, season review, all this memorable chap, wow. And, again, all this stuff we're not going to worry about, uh, like the team meetings and expectations. Wow, 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 training camp. And then there's a just analysis. <laughs> Can we do a strat? Is there? No, oh, Australia's not there anymore. Uh, maybe that was a uh, no. Just because we did a preseason in Australia doesn't mean the reason why we won the Champions League. So award winners, okay, guys. Pavlenka to Stegen. Oh, none a third. Why isn't he number one? Who's this Jerry Pavlenka? For in, <laughs> I say that name like I've never heard of him before. <laughs> to Debo. Uh, oh, this is a robbery. 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 Seriously. Ndombele, Fabinho, Mbappe, Haaland, Fabio Silva gets in set. Fuck. <laughs> Don't play for a big enough team so the reputations aren't as high. Oh, gosh. Tadebo. I mean, at least his team was in the final. So oh, well, that was a robbery, but we don't really care. You can chuck your awards where you, where you want, but we got the we got the main award, which is the Champions League, the, the cup, the cup, and we went and did it. The Champions League winners. How good does that look, guys? How good does that look? Superbly. I don't even know what screen to finish it on, but we're going to leave it here, guys. We're going to leave it here. Thanks to all of you that have come along on this series, and I hope you guys will continue to uh, see the development of my Football Manager series, what we'll be going into with FM21. I want to step up to that next level and maybe do a series different to a single team like this. Maybe one of those where you see manage multiple teams in a journeyman aspect. I did do one of those on the stream this year over on Twitch. So yeah, I, I feel I'm really happy with how this series has come together and how it's ended. I think it's been one of my best put together series, if that makes sense. The most well put together series and the way it's in, it's just come along perfectly. And maybe in a style of a series you've always wanted to see me complete. <laughs> and I still say that with a bit of, I don't even know the word. But yeah, just, yeah, I've finally done it in a way. that The way the community has. So yeah, uh, you guys that have stuck with me have been blessed to see it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.